The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I have to put this chart up. This is the August hogs. This was my uh, chart trade of the day on Friday, and I was so involved with the uh, Treasury bonds and the E-mini S&P and the gold and the crude oil that I missed this, and that was I saw the cattle, and I, I but it, that one had a very small loss, but this was the home run of the home runs, and we had this tremendous and it gapped up today. I was saying, you know, if it looks for a 382 retracement on this, take a look at this because this is probably a really serious, uh, really serious bottom here uh, in the hog market because it's rallied, uh, you know, six cents, which is uh, just about $2,500. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a couple other things that we want to pay attention to today. We're going to look here at the stock market. Believe it or not, we want to keep looking at that. First of all, let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Now, I am still looking at the September, um, the June contract, folks. I'm still, they're, they're basically the same. You know, you could still trade this. They're going to trade for a few more days. There was the 382 that it hit again uh, last night. You can see there on Sunday night it hit it. It came down to the 50% level, and then the market exploded uh, to the upside. I'm not sure whether it made an ABCD pattern here, but I think it's pretty close. Uh, no, the ABCD comes up a little bit higher, but there's your 50% retracement. There's that same number, folks, um, you know, that we, we had, you know, way back in here. There's where our original short was, and we covered that, you know, very, very nicely. And now this is where we are right now. I have no position uh, in, this posi in this particular instrument right now. In fact, I have no position in anything on the indexes because they did go uh, quite a bit higher today. But that is a 50% uh, retracement. And let's take a look at the Russell because it is lagging badly also. And we'll get this up here to see what it's doing. It's just a little bit lower. There it is right here. Now the same thing, I'm looking at the Russell on the June basis. I will be switching over to the September today. I like to give it an extra day to see what we're watching. So here is the Russell. <laughs> you wanna talk, stop and think folks, the Dow Jones, and the, excuse me, the uh, NASDAQ and the S&P are above these highs, okay? And look where we are. We're not even at a 382 retracement of uh, anything. Look at this. This is a really a weak market. I, as Basil said, it's a bifurcated market, but that's exactly what it's doing right here. It still could go up here to 2024. It may be higher. Who knows? So we'll see what's moving on with that. Let's get this out of the way. And I wanted to uh, move on. And talk about the gold market here. Had several. Oh, let's do the grains because everybody has an interest in the grain markets. We have a uh, situation where let's get the uh, first one up. This was the, the trade that I like the best, folks, and it didn't work. That's this is. Let me get the daily. Uh, get the four hour up. I believe is what it was. I believe it was. There it is, right here. Here was the trade that I liked last night. Uh, buying this uh, right here. Uh, the, the risk was only a nickel and. Uh, $250 was gone in a hurry. Folks, this has come down quite a bit, as you can see here, from the highs back in here. We're now, move this over just a little bit lower, you can see we're, we're below the 61% retracement of this major low back in here. Now, this was a major high. You can see that. We looked at that on the weekly, of course, and that did tell us that it was at a major high, if you'll remember. There it was, right at that 61% retracement. That made this a 135 pattern. Let's just double check to see how close the 135 lined up as related to time. There's one, three, and it was off by, uh, well, this is a weekly chart, so it was off by, by quite a bit, but the, um, the, the ratios were correct. You can see there's your 61% retracement of the high and of the 78% level. You can see we were right there at both of them setting right there. That's why. And there's a little three drive to a top pattern. So that's why we were negative at that time. But I didn't expect this. 
this was a big, big move. To, but, but folks, I get I get shocked a few times in my my trading career. This is not even a shock. This is a oh my goodness, a shock is holy moly guacamole. That's what that is. All right, let's show. Uh, we're not wrong on all these, so let's look at the we're, we're just new highs now. You see here in the uh, E-mini S&P is uh, up above new highs right now. New highs in the Nasdaq. I'll do gold next, but this was the one that uh, we liked the best. This was the uh, the uh, Treasury bonds. There was your 382 last night right here at 120. It had over a, uh, a uh, thousand bucks in it. You're looking at this on the daily. We have to do this because this is a really big thing. Because remember, folks, that the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes are much bigger than the stock indices. I mean, there, <laughs> there's not even a comparison. So there's the ABCD on the on the bonds. Okay, that's a major one because it took well over um, two and a half, six weeks to make that. But that's not the important one. The important one is the Treasury notes. Get this up here, and we'll see it. What we're looking at. These are my my uh, assumptions of what I'm looking at, folks. And believe me, I'm often wrong, but never in doubt. Here is the uh, Treasury notes. This was uh, Friday. You can see just absolute perfect 618 right to the tick. It went. Uh, I think it went one tick above the the 618. Yeah, it did. There's 11101, and the 618 was 11131. So it was two ticks higher, or 31 dollars, and it's broken over a thousand bucks. Uh, on that move right here. The, down, the bonds are down a little bit more than that, but that's because they trade more often and they're a lot more volatile. Some of this is supposedly related, and I use the word supposedly very loosely, is the fact that the real estate market in China supposedly is coming unglued. It's been coming down for quite a while, but uh, it's getting hit really badly from what they say in the news, and I don't believe any of it, but that's what they're telling us when we're watching some of these things here that we're looking at here today, okay? Now, I've done, I'm done with the Treasury notes, and I'm done with the Treasury bonds. The next thing we want to do is move over to the grain market because I still think there's opportunity here. I just showed you the wheat. That is a losing trade, folks. That is just spot often. Now, you had a choice here. I, I took the ad advantage of doing the trade. Let's get the uh, four-hour, I believe. Yeah, there it is right here. See, we had, we had really rainy weather with really hot weather. Uh, rainy weather with hot, that's a called the greenhouse effect and growing. And this is right in the start of the, couldn't ask for a better growing situation. But folks, let me tell you, either too much rain could happen or it stops raining and doesn't rain again to the middle of August. And then you've got big problems because all that rain that's in the in the ground, that when heat hits it like it's 97, 98 in Terrell, Indiana today, you flat out, uh, it, it goes real quickly. So I have, I'm flat right now but I'm still waiting to uh, see uh, what happens uh, when we make some type of another bottom. Boy, there's nothing in here. This is a perfect pattern. It just couldn't have been any better. Uh, just, I said, I have to do it. And it looked pretty good. See, it gapped down. And then and what it did is it just bounced around. And that uh, then it just didn't do much after that. So we're going to take a little break here. 877 927 6648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, 
It has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're going to take a look at Christmas corn here, folks. New crop corn, December. Folks, this, this market is not acting badly at all. I'm going to blow this up so you can see it here. There was our low that we had here uh, last Wednesday. That came in at uh, 462. The low here today was 462 and a quarter. It made a lower low by a quarter of a cent. Folks, let me explain something to you. This is the most bearish uh, fundamental news for weather that you can possibly get. When you have hot weather and a lot of rain, that's called the greenhouse effect in the old farmer's almanac, okay? But why could it only take this out by a quarter of a cent? That to me is really, oh, you know what? Maybe this is wrong data. Let's double check. I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Let's see. Nope, that's it. There it is right here. You can see there's a, there's the lower low right here. And then we had a rally from there. My goodness. So this is, uh, this is not bad action in my opinion. So... Let's get this back up here on the daily. Of course, at the end of the day here, we might start closing below here, but that would be it. But the fact that right in the middle of the trading day, you get down and make a lower low by a quarter of a cent, that tells you that, my goodness, somebody is willing to buy some corn down in there. I believe it's a little bit below the 78% level. Let's just double check it here right now, and we'll take a quick look at it. Oh, it hit the exact 786 here today. That might be an interesting one to look at. I am not doing anything on the grains for two reasons. One, I couldn't send another video out. It was re re uh, returned by uh, Google, so I'll have to do a video at the end of the day here. But uh, that's the main thing. We were looking at the, you know, the short bonds. Uh, we didn't have anything in currency. When It's something that I wanted to see here. Hold on just a second, and we'll see where we are here with what's going on with some of these things here. Holy moly, guacamole, I can't see anything right in here. Uh, oh, no, if I lost data again, shucks the front door and raise the rent. I have. Boy, this this is so frustrating, folks. My God, I just give up. Oh, oh God darn. Just a second. I'm sorry. I got to try to. I got to try to get this fixed up here. Uh, Look at this. This is just a pain in the pay a lot of money for this and give me this. Ah, shucks. All right, let's take a break here. Boy, this is uh no, no it's getting data. What are you talking about? I see it right here. Hello, operator. I see it right now. Yeah, we're having we we see data right here. Okay. That's pretty much it. Yeah. There's where we are. We've got the uh there's the uh we've got the big move here. 
the uh, September Treasury bond, or <laughs> this is up at uh, 45.40, just running like crazy. Uh, new highs in the uh, S&P were still going higher there. We just hit the uh, 1.618 expansion up here on the old, uh, but I frankly, uh, it'd, be, it'd have to be a crazy man to try to sell that one. But there's your 382 here this morning. And there we're running up to this level right here, right about now. So that's going to be a, a real interesting. We'll probably hit it and go a lot higher, but there's just no way that you can fade it. Okay, so that's what I'd be waiting for to see if that's going on. Okay, all right. Now we're only on the on the June S and P. Let's get over here. See, we're only we've only made a higher high by two points so far. That's not weakness, folks. That's just the fact that they rolled over to the September. That's all that is. That there's nothing else. Uh, spectacular about that other than the looking at that one okay so there's what we're looking at here now let's take a look at crude oil remember we had a positive bias in the crude oil let's get this up here today <clears throat> and we said we thought we had a pretty good rally we we're looking for a pullback on this move here <clears throat> to the 382 let's get this up here you'll see here we were trying to get a 382 retracement on this move we, what we could what we did was we barely took out the lows of the 13th by just a little bit and that made this let's do the hourly so we'll see it a little bit easier and you'll see there it is right here we see we're trying to get down here but we never even got any close to to that to any 382 but we did make i believe let's see how close we came to the to the actual abcd here on this and this was in the middle of the night here or real, real early sunday night is where that was you can see there's your ab leg right here there's your cd leg right here and that missed it by a total of uh, three points. So missed it by a tick or two. And now it's having another rally to the upside. Remember, we were looking ahead. We had Mike Moore on the horn on uh, Friday. And he was telling us that it looked like we had made pretty good bottoms in heating oil, gasoline, and the crude oil. And just take a look at those just to show you. He, he's got some really good stuff, folks. And hopefully we're going to do some work with some of the spreads that he does let's move on to the uh, heating oil here and we also want to check natural gas and also apple i will take care of that in apple for you here and we'll be able to see it right here uh natural gas where are we at here natural gas uh ah oh, shucks hold on just a second here natural gas is ng uh oh, here it is right there natural gas and let's see if it's uh, it's doing the same thing on a daily basis. Let's get up here and look at it on hourly, see if there's anything that was uh, jumping up today. Well, they ro they rolled over. You can see here from the June to the July contract right here. So today, as we were coming in here from the 12th, we ha oh we had one really nice uh, on Saturday. Uh, excuse me, Friday. Oh boy, I didn't see this on the. Uh, oh yes, I did too. <laughs> This was uh, this was one of our losing trades, believe it or not, folks. We sold this level right here in the 382, and we had our stop a little too close, and we got stopped out. So that's that's what happened here. Then it came down and made. There's your bottom. There's your there's if you like A B C D bottoms, this is one right here. You'll see there it is right there. So that's what we're paying attention to. So let's see what happens here with the natural gas. Now let's take a look at the gasoline. And also the uh, the heating oil, just to see what uh, Mike was telling us on Friday. Here is your your gasoline contract on the we'll do the hourly on the gasoline, <clears throat> and we'll see here it, there again it couldn't make the A B C D. You see it. In fact, it barely came down and made a 78 percent level. That's why that one was so bullish. See, it couldn't make it here. Now we made a lower low here. In the crude oil, but we didn't in gasoline. And Mike was saying that's probably what was going to be happening. Let's get this up here. This looks like a perfect 786 here last night. And there it was. Perfect 786. Bada bing, bada boom. This looks like we're heading up to this level right here, folks. Up another three, four cents without any trouble uh, in gasoline. In fact, uh, fact is it has a very strong seasonal at this time of the year. This means that your ABCD leg would be going up into this level right about here so that's another one that we're paying close attention to okay now i'm not sure about that corn because uh, i saw that we were not getting data and now we are getting data let me double check uh set up here let's see if it's if it's back online yes it is back online then for just a second we've had electrical storm here folks and that's why well, we're here with the 1618 right now folks on the old uh 
we talk about a, a easy low risk trade. Uh, don't do this one, but uh, there's where it is right there. We hit it, uh, just hit it exactly there at 188.999. So that's probably just the beginning of that. That's up uh, 200, almost 300 points. It's up 400 points from Friday. Boy, that's one heck of a, that shattered the two standard deviations with, that was right here. Remember on the weekly, I pointed this out and we went through that like it didn't even exist. Look at that. That's just power, power, power. All right, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we're back. We're looking at uh, gold. This is August gold. What we're going to do is this is where we were on Friday. Here was the opening on Sunday night right here. You can see now it opens right here and it rallies up. What we first thing you want to do is you want to see if it made a 382 off the high from Friday. 
that be the first thing you do. And you can see that tells you that that's where you were going to go. And now you can see you have another 382 on the downside. Now you have a pretty good rally here. If you rally from uh, 330 all the way up to $12, which is pretty much the usual, you can see the nice A, B, C, D pattern coming in right here. And what we'd like to do now is after you make new, each time you make new lows, what you need to do is just like we made new lows here, you want to check to see what the next 382 would be. See, there was your first one right there. The second one would come in right about here. What does it do? It goes right to the 50, but there's your 382, backs off a little bit, then makes a perfect A, B, C, D at the 50%, and then it has the big move down. Well, if, you, if you're trading gold, and this is a pretty big drop here from 41 here, that's a $15 move. That's not something to sneeze at because you're only risking above here. You know, I, I wasn't doing that for reasons that I didn't have data and a couple other things, but I uh, was watching it, uh, but I just didn't put the trade on. Anyway, that's a really nice uh, ABCD right here on gold. But here's the key. Now, if what we teach is correct, this should be a 382 off of the high. So we're going to take a look at this. I can tell you that it's not, but it's going to be close. There's the high. There's your low right in here. And it misses it by quite a bit. It, well, it misses it by a great deal. It misses it by, oh, buck and a half. It misses it by $1.50 on the 382 of that. And as you look at this from the other side, you see this is probably a 61% retracement of that move. Nope, that's a... That's just barely a 382 on that move right here, so that's a, that would have been acting okay. All right, now let's move on here to uh, – uh, we covered the corn. We covered the wheat. Let's look at soybean oil because I really like that on a longer-term basis. It's it's actually holding on uh, a little bit. Boy, these markets are really, really strong. I have to tell you that they are flat-out smoking, that's for sure. They're just uh, blasted through all these numbers, so don't stand <clears throat> don't stand in front of it today, folks. Anyway, let's move over here. The fact is, if you would have done that trade in the uh, in the thing, you would have been well, you wouldn't have been stopped out because you would have lose, used the twenty point stop. So your stop would have had to have been at ninety nine twenty because you're selling it at eighteen ninety nine. You got to risk four hundred dollars in it. There's no question about that. So that's where your stop would be. Uh, and that this is a crazy one anyway. So and if you did the S and P one, you got to risk ten points in that. So that's what we're paying attention to here uh, today. Now let's move on. We were talking about the gold. Let's look at it on a little bit longer time frame because I still, on a long term basis, I am still quite bullish on gold and silver. So let's look at the gold next. We're going to put the uh, hourly chart up. Now you can see here we had that. This is that rally that we had this morning. There it is. You can see that there's hourly chart. You can see it's quite easy. We'll just draw this in. There's your AB leg. There's your CD leg right there. That t I didn't draw it in correctly, but that's all right. We'll just draw it in. Here's your ABCD that we're looking at. We're going to come down to it looks like a double bottom. Uh oh, we're going to come down to the 78% level. Okay, now this is going to be. Very important because there's uh, we got one, two, three, got four days action in here. Okay, now we have some pretty good support. Should be coming in here in gold. Probably not. To, well, it could be today because it's only eight dollars away. So that should be some good support here at the 78% level in gold. That would be a Gartley pattern with higher bottoms. You can see there's your you got a higher higher bottom there, a higher bottom there, a higher bottom there. So that should be really good support. Uh, in the gold there at uh, 13 2320 but on a longer term basis folks this is what you got to be afraid of is up in here which is a lot of action because if we get down below these levels below this 23 uh, 20 level see your low here is 2307 you're going to be looking at at least at least a 382 on this whole move from way back here let's just draw that in so you can see it real easy and you go from that last major low that we had here, your 382 would come in here at uh, 22, and that's where the that big gap was. So 2213 is what you'd be looking at on the downside. The other thing, now remember this is a weekly, but the numbers will be the same. We we had a very big move here on the downside. We came from 2088 uh, down to uh, 1823, so 2088. 1823, that's $270 we dropped. See, 20, uh, 2088, 
18, that's $280. So the next retracement, if it's going to be correct, is going to be pretty much the same thing. So what you want to be watching is you just take your take your little ruler and measure from your high down to this last low, which was right there. Okay, see that measures that whole move down. So if we're going to have it, it's going to come down again. Look where it comes in, folks. Now, wouldn't that make good sense? If that's if that's what's going to happen on that, that would be to me a, a really 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 interesting trade because you have equal moves on the downside okay and that's what I'd be watching there for that now see on the last time you see we went down we went down two harmonic numbers you'll just draw this in you'll see put it here set it on there and there was your low right here this was a this was a mother god and country one folks this is really bullish because you had the three drive drive one drive two drive three that's hopefully what we'll have when we have it look at this beautiful Gartley you had here I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. So, still bearish to gold, and um, but you know, trade it with on a when you're doing a uh, hourly chart like we were just looking at right here. That is certainly a tradable pattern because you know it's just it it just happens to be one that just lines up perfectly. This was the better one today, was that A B C D setting in there, but that's uh, that's neither here nor there. What we're watching here, okay. So let's just move on here and we'll see what we have going on right here. Uh, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, something's wrong here. I got a wrong data, just a second here. Okay, here's the, uh, oh, shucks. All right, not to worry, not to worry. Hold, hold, hold on, folks, I've got to get something straight here. Otherwise, I'm going to get more mix, mixed up than I am right now. I'm just doing too much. Uh, I want to do the window. I want to do a cascade here so I can see what I'm looking at and all these things here because we were going through so many things at once that I get them uh, messed up here. Here's the corn. Yeah, we'll get all that one here. Where is the other one? In line with QM. I don't understand what it is. That's the highest I 3322. Huh. Yeah, there it is right there. That's a September. Okay, let's move on here to the next one that I want to talk about, and that is Apple. Apple is up against some pretty stiff stuff. Let's we'll take a break here. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns and his track record proves his analysis right. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, you can see here that the NASDAQ went through that like it didn't even exist, so it's going to go a lot higher. We've already gone way past this, so you can see the 382 here this morning and then the move up to the upside. Let's take a look here at Apple. It's very close to another new high. The thing is that this number we have up here at uh, 220, uh, I believe that was, uh, did, was that hit today or was that hit? Uh, no, that was hit on Friday. Uh, well, this is a daily chart. You can see that that, that was last Wednesday, but that's going to be really close to a 1.618. I've also been asked to take a look at Tesla and we're going to take a quick look at that right here. And just one second here. Oh, we have an electrical storm. We have no, we're in the middle of the monsoon. Well, we just started the monsoons on Sunday, folks, uh, from the, well, actually on Saturday, it's the 15th of June until the 15th of September, we're in the monsoon season. And that means that we could have, oh, we're having a nice move up here in Tesla today. And uh, there we go. I have to see what we're looking. I understand I heard today on Bloomberg that Mr. Elon Musk was being considered as a potential Vice presidential candidate. Boy, they, they bring out more stuff than you could ever believe in. He would take that job like I would probably take the job. Well, I'm not going to start there. Anyway, we came down, and it's been pretty strong. I still think we got a shot at this, but we get above here, then we're probably going to go a lot higher. There's so much buying coming in, folks. You just can't stand it. You can't stand in front of it, so you just want to just stand aside and find another pattern that you're going to be looking at. I have not given up on the grain markets at all. I'm just waiting to see, uh, you know, as soon as the weather clears a little bit. And believe me, if they start getting too much water, that's going to be just as bad as if they, you know, didn't get any water. So it's going to be – I have been in this business for 62 years, and I have not been in a year where we didn't have at least one or two scares, crop scares. And so that's what I'm looking at. But you have to wait till the patterns come up, and then you'll – You'll go from that level right here. So let's take a quick look here at the November beans since we were talking about them just a little while ago. They had an interesting uh, – hold on one second here. Uh, okay, where are we at here? November beans are right there. Let's just get this up and we'll take a look. Here's where we are on November beans. Uh, we're coming down. They just made new lows on the day here. I believe, yeah, they have. As you can see here, we're almost at an ABCD here on this, but you, this is not one you want to be buying because there's your old lows back in here. We're going to take that out by just a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's, it's trading live, so what we'll do is we'll go to an hourly chart, and you'll see uh, what I'm looking at. See, this is what I was watching here last week, and we had a nice rally in this. This was the key here uh, from, from my perspective was here. Let me just get this up here on the 13-minute on the, on the, on the chart last night because I said, uh-oh. I said there's going to be a problem here in River City, and we move this over like this. And the problem in River City, this was here Sunday night. You see that Sunday night, the news came out. It actually rallied. It was still down a little bit on the day, down about a nickel. But you see that rally right there? I was watching that, and look what it did. From the high that you made right back here to that rally right there, it misses it by uh, one cent, folks. 
Well, actually, less than a cent. You see, at 11.50, this is 11.50 and a half. It misses it by half a cent. Then it comes down again. It makes this one right here. Watch. You think you like 382s? There's your high right here. There's your low coming in right there. There's your 382. And now you keep coming down. Somewhere in here, we're going to have a buy, and it looks like it's going to be down here. We're going to wash everybody out. Down, and it's only got five cents to go. It won't be today, but I'll be watching it again Tuesday, Wednesday. That will be one that I'll be watching very, very closely. But that's what we're watching here as we see these things uh, melt down today. We're not melting down in corn. We're, let's check the meal since we're looking at 80% of the uh, of the crop. There's a December soybean meal is right here. It should be getting its uh, the two. Oh, it is. There is a daily. It, oh, my goodness. It hasn't even taken out the previous day's low. I don't believe that. Yeah, there it was right there on Friday. It hasn't taken out that low, and there's the 78% level. That'll be, uh, look at that, as a matching low. That's uh, not the end of the world here. You can see it from the edge of town, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, now let's move on to the, uh, I see, I got the meal, I got the oil, I got that. Oh, someone asked about um, Archer Daniels Midland. We looked at that a long time ago. I don't even know, I still have it on the, there it is right here. We had a buy in that way down there in the 50s somewhere. Yeah, 52 or something. Yeah, there is where it was down in here. See, there was a there was the buy. There was your 1.618 ABCD buy right there, 1.618. Then you had the gap up here. Then here's where we're trading, and it's, uh, it hasn't really gone anywhere. It tells you the farmers are not making a lot of money. And so anyway, that's what we're paying attention to. This is a uh, pull this up on a little bit. Well, today it's not looking pretty bad. It's looking pretty good today. That's a Gartley pattern, A, B, C, D style. So it's moved in pretty good unison here with the rest of the market. There's A, B, C, D right on the market. When you're out in doubt, stick with A, B, C, D, folks. That's pretty much it. So how much time? we got two minutes to go. Uh, Al has just told me that do not try to call in now, folks. The lines are just – what happens was it, it lights up the tote board there at TFNN that – they really can't get anything else done. So please hold your calls till I come back on the air on Thursday. Okay, I'll be off tomorrow. Wednesday's a holiday, so I'll be there Thursday, Friday. Uh, Thursday, I believe we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest. And then also we're going to have on Friday, Norman, who calls it to the minute, Winsky. And we have a caller. How did he get through? I don't even know. Let's who it is. I'd, oh, Al said a line just opened up. So if you've got a chance... You can call in 877-927-6648, but make haste, folks, because by golly, that doesn't uh, that doesn't happen very often when the lines are free. Let's take a look at this one here. This is the one that is uh, going crazy to the upside still. This is uh, another gap up today. This is the reasoning for the uh, for the uh, the uh, the, uh, the uh, going to the upside like this. This is the reason. Look at it. Gapped up again. Oh, my goodness. This is uh, – didn't we have a target up here somewhere around 2,050 or something? Let's just measure it uh, from the last major low, which was right back here. I do too much. It's ABCD stuff. Oh, no, it's not too far away. It's 18, 1864. Start of the Civil War, folks. Well, it's middle of the Civil War. Started 1862. Let's just play for kicks. In. Well, we got all these gaps. Look, if you got a gap here, you got a gap here, you got a gap here. You know, who knows where it's going to go? We know that artificial intelligence is for real, folks. No question about it. So we'll just keep our cards and letters coming in, and we'll see what's going on uh, with that. Um, okay, I want to look at soybean oil one more time on a personal basis because I am very interested in what happened here. There's what I wanted to see. This is uh, – See how we took out all of these stops down in here that were there, and then it popped back up. We took out the stops back in here, and meal is already couldn't even make lower. Folks, pay attention to this because the action that we're seeing with all that rain that's happening, everybody thinks that's a big deal, and it is a big deal. But these markets like corn and meal are not acting that badly. I mean, soybeans are, sure. Wheat is, sure. Soybean oil is not acting too badly. You know, remember, we bought them here and got out there, so we're just waiting. 877-927-6648. Stay tuned.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets. With updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers, whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, I wanted to bring a chart up here to show you the difference between futures and options. You can see here, this goes back the last uh, 10 years. This is when we had futures and options were pretty much the same. And then uh, in 2018 is when it really started to shift, where options started to gain very rapidly. It actually started in 16. The options started to gain. Now, this is where we were in 2022. Now, here's where we are now. This option part is at 135, and we're setting at about 80 in the future. In the futures, we're setting here at about 50, 53, and this is 135. That just shows you the influence of the option markets. That's why those standard deviation numbers that I was looking at over the weekend were so very, very important. It looked like it was supposed to stop, but it didn't. And that's why it takes off and it's on its way and you can't stand in front of it. That's pretty much the bottom line. Another key today is on the pullback. It stopped exactly at the 382 of the Friday's low. And uh, both of them in the NASDAQ and in the S&P 500. Of course, the Dow was a lot weaker and the Dow and the, and the uh, Russell are still weaker. If you're going to look to sell something, look to sell the Dow or the Russell. I would pick the Russell because it's a broader index. The, the Dow Jones is only 30 stocks, and the 15 of those are up triple digits. So let's uh, keep that in mind. So I'll see you all on the uh, – that'll be the day after. That'll be the 20th, right? Uh, yep, 20th. I'll see you on Thursday because the 19th is a – the 20th is the uh, anniversary in Beverly Hills in 1947 when uh, – 
what was the guy's name that started the uh, Flamingo Hotel? Uh, oh God, I can't remember. It's right on the tip of my tongue here. The, the gangster. Ah, shucks. He was shot there uh, in Beverly Hills on the uh, 20th of uh, Bendy Siegel. Bugsy Siegel was shot that day. Anyway, that's when the mob left uh, the uh, Las Vegas area. Remember that? See you on the flip side on Thursday. May God bless you.